Hi guys, so in today's video we will be going through the process of connecting Visual Studio Code to my SQL database. So let's get to it. Before we get started, if you have not subscribed to this channel, please take a second right now and click the subscribe button so that the next time I make a similar video you will be notified okay so let's get started like i mentioned in this video we will be going through the process of connecting visual studio code to my sql database so let's get started the first step is to open visual studio code and once you have it open the next step is to go to extensions and look for sql tools the one that we are looking for is this second one here for SQL tools, my SQL MariaDB and TIDB. So I'm going to install that. Once we have this installed, you will see this icon here for SQL tools. So click that and make connection. So add new connection. The connection we want to establish is to my SQL server. So click this option here. And here I'm going to enter my connection name as my SQL DP. And then the next one is server and port. This one is going to, I'm going to make this connection using server and port. The other options are socket file and connection string. I'm going to choose server and port. And my server address is localhost. You could also choose 127.0.0.1. And the port remains as 3306. The next one is to enter our database and for this i'm going to go to my sql workbench and here i can see that i have two schemas the first one is ck tutorials and circular i'm going to choose the first one here so i'm going to put that one right here ck tutorials and then for the username i will enter my root user so this is the same username that we said when we were installing my sql server okay and then the next thing is to test connection so it's popping this window here asking me to allow it so i'm going to click allow and basically here is asking us to enter our password so i'm going to enter the same password also that we set when we were installing my sql server and click enter and as you can see down here our connection has been successfully connected so that means now that we are able to connect to our sql database all I have to do now is save connection and close this. And here you can see now that our connection has been created. And all you have to do again is just click this and you should be able to see your database. So like I mentioned again, if you go to my SQL server, these are the two databases that we have. And the same thing is what you see here as well. So we have CK tutorials and Sakila. Okay. So you can expand these ones and see the tables that we have inside these schemas so for example here in ck tutorials i have insurance and here i have a number of tables present as well which is the same thing also that you see if you are to use my sql workbench okay so the next thing that we want to do right now then is to inspect our data and run some queries so for us to do that all you have to do is click the table itself and show table records so you will see here that we are being presented with our data you can also run your queries directly here so let's do that select star from insurance okay and then run so we see the same information we could also inspect data from our second database so let's do the same thing here select star from sakila dot actor run okay so we also see our data here as well if you don't have this sample data here please check the video also that i made on how to load data to my sql database i walked you through the process of loading data to my sql database and that is how we loaded this database so if you do not have this data please check that video okay so let's also run some ddls here and see if we are able to create a database for example so let's do that so i'm going to create this database called demo and execute so we can see here that this successfully executed and 
all you have to do is refresh this so we can see our database has been created you will see the same thing also if you go to my sql and refresh here you will see that our database demo has been created okay so let's also drop this database and refresh okay so you will see here that database is no longer present and if we also go to my sql workbench and refresh it that has also gone so basically from now on you can execute your queries run your queries here in visual studio without having to navigate to my sql workbench okay guys so that's the process of connecting Visual Studio Code to my SQL database. I hope this video was helpful. Again, if you have not subscribed, please take a second and subscribe right now. Alright guys, bye-bye.